The Wellness Show, Episode 58. Welcome to The Wellness Show, a podcast on health and wealth. I'm your host, Tyson Bannigan, the founder of the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy. Join me as we get the latest insight, tips, and strategies from wellness providers, coaches, and successful heart-centered entrepreneurs, and much, much more. And so our show today is going to be on the power of showing up. And do you want to introduce Tyson? Well, sure. You know, I had the opportunity to meet Tyson years ago when Miguel Angel and I were taking people throughout the Yucatan and other countries in Central America to study the Maya. And just two weeks ago, I had the opportunity to actually stay with Tyson at his place in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, just gorgeous where he lives. Amazing. And, you know, we were just talking about fear, and my reference is it's the invisible taskmaster, the invisible Ah. taskmaster. So when I went to visit Tyson, he represents to me a person who has really looked at fear from the point of view as the illusion for what it is. But it's so compelling. So I'm going to read you a little bit of his bio, not just off the cuff, because I really want you to read from his words. But he really is what is called a master inner game mentor, a shaman, a coach, an author, and a lecturer. And he has discovered that 95% of your business and your welfare success depends on you mastering the inner game of life. Doesn't that sound about right, everybody? His wellness team helps clients discover and deliver their gifts to the world by showing up, the power of showing up, being authentic, and getting out of their own way to consistently win at the game of life. From numerous healing modalities, he has crafted a unique set of personal to global wellness keys to unlock each person's magnificence by discovering their life's purpose. The process includes one-to-one intuitive mentoring, which is great, sound healing, to set your soul song free, group coaching, masterminding, plus travel, to do and to conduct earth healings, visit sacred sites, ceremony, and so forth. The overarching goal is to learn why you're here and how to deliver your passion to the world. He also has his own show. He is the host of the Wellness Show on Health, Wealth, and Enlightenment, and we'll give you those links in a little bit. We'll repeat them for you so you got them. And it's released every Monday and Wednesday morning. On the show, he interviews wellness practitioners, coaches, innovators like me, and heart-centered entrepreneurs who have a passion to make us and the earth vibrantly healthy and wealthy. Of course, he encourages to listen in and start your week with vim and vigor. And I will also tell you, I believe Tyson to be a practicer, an expert in what is called geomancy. Geomancy literally means love of earth or love of earth energy. These are the tools where a person uses sacred geometry structures like pyramid structures, dodecahedron structures, sacred geometric structures that harness, conduct, and transmit earth energy for the purposes of healing the earth, but also for the purposes of attuning yourself to the natural cosmic rhythms and harmonies of our universe. I have experienced one of his amazing devices, and this show is way too short to go into depth, but let's just go ahead and bring Tyson on. How are you, brother? I'm fine, and thank you for the intro. It's exciting to be on this show with other wizards of the world and um, <laughs> bring their into everybody's reality. So thank you for the invitation. Oh, you're we most are, welcome. We are so pleased. And, you know, listeners, it's also interesting because Tyson and I had last seen each other in the Yucatan. In fact, that's the only time we ever saw each other was when he and his wonderful wife, Sarah, would come down on these spiritual journeys to study the Maya cosmology. And he says, you should really come up to Salmon Arm sometime in British Columbia. And I said, boy, I sure want to. So I had an opportunity a couple of weeks ago to go to a wonderful place called the Tree of Life in Blind Bay on the Shushwap Lake Series. And it turns out it's exactly 22 minutes away from where Tyson lives. So I had the opportunity to stay with him and his lovely wife. And it was just wonderful to be able to visit. It's just one of those synchronistic mechanisms that happens in the universe where if we surrender to one thing, you never know what else is going to interlock with it, which was the ability to sit and share for a couple of days with Tyson. And then, of course, things evolve from there. So, Tyson, I want to start off with a question so that our listeners can really get a feel for you. What did you mean about being a master inner game mentor? Well, you know, 
discovering that really 95% of what's in the way is yourself. Well, for me, was a, as a coach and an entrepreneur, really quite upsetting. I don't know about <laughs> other people, but yeah. I've always been after the latest tool. And I know, Richard, you relate to the latest glitzy yeah. tool, particularly yeah. if it has anything to do with sound and light. You just yes. love them. Well, right. mine tools have been, you know, how to do Facebook or how to do webinars or how to do whatever, the latest glitzy tool, and also the latest coaching methodology. And I have to say I spend a lot of money on all that to really come to terms with the fact that, hey, this is an inside job. And unless ah. I feel good about who I am and I, like I show up, guess what? Nothing is going to happen. It doesn't matter how many glitzy tools I have or how many things I know how to do or how many wizard ones I have, if I don't believe in myself and get out of my own way, then 95% yeah. of the problem mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. being dealt with. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. And I believe that society right now is looking for the quick fix. And so, Absolutely. you know, People are running out there, and please do not take this wrong, listeners, but they're running out there to take weekend workshops feeling that um, they they're going to get the all the information right yeah. then and right now, and it just doesn't work that way. There's a lot of inner work that people have to do just to understand who they are so that they can share with others. Yeah. Well, you know, it's really true because we have this inner software program running behind the scenes. And sometimes in order to change that software is not a one-night thing. It's an evolutionary practice. It's kind of like going to the gym. You know, you can lift the weights one day, but that doesn't mean you're going to have those defined muscles as if you were going to the gym, let's say, five times a week for 10 months. And so a lot of times what Deirdre and I have found over two years of interviews is that these people that have walked their talk have been doing so consistently with fervor. That means they were dedicated. They weren't just going for the weekend saying, yeah, I went to that seminar. Now I'm evolved and I'm done. <laughs> and it really is work. It's joyful work. You know, don't get me wrong. It's joyful work. But it's work. Wouldn't you agree, Tyson? I would like to change the terminology. You know, if you show up and you are authentic, then it's a lot of play. And if it isn't fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Now, I'm really talking to myself because I forget that all the time. Here it is, summer. It's beautiful in the Shushwap. Where I live is called Paradise Point. So I get to say I live in paradise. And it has the most beautiful lake, as Richard, you know, Shushwap yes. Lake, and guess oh, what? Incredible. I haven't been swimming yet. I haven't oh. even gone swimming yet. So, I had just have a dumb question though. You told me that that lake series is one con continuous lake. You know, goes in the valleys of different mountains. It has a thousand kilometers of shoreline. Is that correct? That's absolutely so, correct. It's okay. a big, huge, so, massive H so, in the landscape. So if you think of Yod Vahe, it's the H in the landscape. It is a wow. magnificent lake. So anybody really can go is. into the water, though, it's one of those things where you could walk down from your house and go straight into the water, right? I could walk down from my house and in five minutes be in the water. Oh, man. That and so the point good. is, if I'm too busy in what I think I need to do, which is sit in front of a computer and do all these things yeah. mm -hmm. and don't go for a swim and have, have fun, then I'm in my own way. Mm -hmm. Aha. That's so true. Me yesterday. Do I, do I hear a commitment coming up, D? Well, it is. Yeah, it's you so do. true. <laughs> that he, that he's, that he's gonna get his, you know what, into the water. Oh well, there we go. Yeah, That's, get in. Get in. And jump it's the, in. It, yeah, jump in. Feet first. So that goes back to the whole thing about yeah, it is work, but you know, let's have fun in the process. So mm. yeah. For me, I have to walk, or I felt that I've had to walk, or for my own health, I walk every other day. And you know, some days when it's raining and I get up in the morning, I have a million excuses why not to go for that walk, but I just do it. So, you know, is that work? Probably, but is it fun when I get out there and I get to see the deer in the morning and the coyote on the road and the osprey in the sky? Well, you jump it's in the puddles fun. And, and you jump, jump into puddles. puddles. Yeah. Exactly. And like it's you with the dirty feet in the garden. What's more blissful than that? 
<laughs> nothing <laughs> really. Nothing really, because that's getting in nature and feeling the mud between your toes. You know, that's but that's what we're talking about is how do you get from talking to someone? Oh, you know, spirituality is where it's at. You know, you really need to develop yourself. How do you get from a concept to toes in the mud, getting in the water, walking on the path? How do you get from one to the other? What do you tell the average person? Well, I tell the average person just to basically show up. And this is not rocket science. When you show up and get over yourself and you're courageous enough to do that, then guess what? Magic happens. It truly does. Now, I've seen it happen in my living room here where somebody says, hey, Tyson, I finally got the message. I'm showing up and I'm bringing my friends and I'm renting your cottage and I'm arriving next week. And I say, sure, okay, fine. And by the way, I'm bringing somebody over to do access bars because I want to learn how to do that too. And so then we end up with a whole group of people in my living room. And for 21 days, we're doing masterminding and group clearing. And guess what? Magic starts to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple. This is not something that we have to figure out. This is not something that we have to do A, B, C, D, and E, E, F, and G and lay it all out. This is something... When you decide to show up, literally, magic happens. And I've seen it over and over and over again. So that's pretty exciting when you think about it. But It's easy to say because there's a lot of people out there, though, who will say, okay, Tyson, I'm ready to show up. Please send me the PDF manual so I can study the manual. <laughs> I can know how to, so, so the manual can show me how to take it easy and keep it simple. I'm telling you, this is how a lot well, of people I, Yeah, they do. So what I would say is, why don't you join me online and we'll have a session together and we'll do a sound session. And the beauty of a sound session, for example, is that your brain can't process it. It can't go there. It can't analyze the sound. So if I record your voice after I take you on a guided meditation and then play you back that sound through scalar wave technology, then you have no choice but to attain to the highest vibration of who you be. So now mm -hmm. your brain has to get out of the way. It has to shut down. And that magic you, that light being, that one that's clouded over by all these things that you feel you need to do comes through, and you get to remember who you are. And that's and few, another way of being able yeah. to show up. And a few of those sentences you started out with, sound recording, vibrations, and scalar wave technology, is about two or three more interviews with you, Tyson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe so. It's pretty simple. It like, goes like this. The dominant energy always wins good, bad, or ugly. So are you the dominant energy wherever you are with every thought, word, deed, and action? Are you the one that's putting out the energy that dominates in a sense, in a positive way, where everything else then rises to that vibration? Or are you lowering yourself to match somebody else's vibration? in the room or in your reality. I think they're going to need to talk to you because when I read, you know, what do you mean by just showing up? I get, hello, here I am. I am just now showing up. I am in this place. I am totally here within myself in this but place. It's... I have no clue what is going to happen, but I am here. But the first thing that's so great is you don't have a clue, so now we can work together. <laughs> yes. If you do think you have a clue, if you do think you have a clue, then we have a problem because your, well, your you brain know, is in the way. And this brings us back to previous shows that we've done all about stepping into the sacred feminine and being vulnerable, allowing yourself to explore, discover, to embrace something new, to, you know, try something different. It's part of what I teach when I teach meditation, you know, it's like, okay, so that's not working for you. Well, let's try this. Or you've tried that before, but have you tried it this way? You know, it's about taking that step and opening up and allowing yourself to try something that you may never have ever tried before mm -hmm. and being mm -hmm. vulnerable and open and to it. And that's a comfort zone thing. It is you, a comfort. you know, when you're in a place where you're not in control, where you're in a place where you don't know what you're doing, the mind starts to construct all kinds of alternatives based on the desire to regain control. Yes. Absolutely. Exactly. Okay, that was a pregnant moment for you to jump in and say, well, then, therefore, Dr. J, you just go in there and you yeah. just show up. Well, well therefore, therefore, Dr. J, you know, <laughs> best thing for a client who doesn't know 
you know, like I'm showing up, but are you really showing up is to yeah. um, sign into my master program, which is my divine gifts. So what if you knew what your three primary divine gifts were? We all have seven, you know, seven chakras, seven rays. What if yeah. you knew your three divine gifts and what if you knew what it was like to be in the divine flow and letting those gifts, that energy, that divinity of you come through your divine gifts and you deliver that to the world? And yeah, now amazing. you know that that's why you're here. And then you know what it means when you're not here, like when you're in the way of those divine gifts and what shows up as an aberration and gets you into lots of problems because it's a reoccurring pattern. So that would be the first step is why am I here? You know, what's flowing through me? What happens when I'm in the way of this divine flow? And then we'd start to use the processes like the sound and other techniques that, that we have to help get out of your own way. How to shut down the brain and allow your divinity to come through so that you can show up and deliver your divine gifts to the world. And that's what it's all about. We're all here with a soul purpose. And when you know what your soul purpose is and why you incarnated and what you're here to deliver, then you start to move through your life with passion. When you have that passion to deliver, then you show up and you start to get out of your way. And guess what? Then you're in the divine flow and miracles start to happen. You're in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. And life becomes more full of fun than work. And That's spirituality. Right. Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, we do have that inner guidance that's on 24-7. We never close. And for many of us, we only have a vague awareness of what those spiritual divine gifts are. And it's interesting, too, because the inner guidance is on all the time, whether we're listening mm -hmm. or not. It's always there. And this is one of the things Deirdre and I talk about is tuning into something that you already have. In other words, most people don't realize that their inner guidance functions perfectly but most people don't know a they have inner guidance that functions perfectly b how to connect with it and c to let go of what the expectation is of what it's going to look like as they connect and trust it now i'm going to interrupt Absolutely. and i'm just going to throw this out there because you know listeners we are getting into some really deep conversations here and i'm sure somebody possibly has a question out there so if you want to call in you can certainly call in and give us your questions our number is one two four eight six two nine zero nine two one or again you can always go to the show on the spreaker.com bold radio station mm. and type it in if you want to be not known <laughs> ah, <laughs> not oh. hey, wait a minute you're supposed to show up yeah, that's right show up that's right show that's up, what but i don't know you <laughs> but i don't know you you know it's funny because Depending on people's backgrounds, depending on what they're going through, showing up, some people might feel like it's too stifling or it's being okay, the well, hardest thing that they could ever do in their life. Let's start Absolutely. over. Let's say somebody listens to a half hour of this program, which they just did, and they <laughs> say, you know, Tyson, I still don't know what you mean by the power of just showing up. Do I just go, here I am. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And I think one of the first tools you said was to start asking those questions that you don't need to know why you showed up, but that you showed up. And was it to let go of preconceptions? Yeah. Yeah. The first clue is that your brain, like you said, Dr. J has endless stories to tell you. And most of them are big fat lies. So your brain is a nice tool, but it is not your guidance system. Because it's going to tell you, oh, this is scary, or, oh, I, you did this before and it didn't work. So that's your inner compass. Your inner compass is in the stillness, like Deidre says, when you do the meditation where you let go and the mind takes its rightful place, which is in the background, and your intuition comes forward, and that's where you receive the guidance. And that becomes your moral compass as you rely on that. So... What I'm teaching people to, how to do is receive guidance on demand. Like, how do ah. you do that in a day-to-day -day situation? How do you show up? Well, basically, it's, you know, the same techniques of learning how to do attunements or guidance is to shut the rational mind down, 
give it something busy to do, like following the breath, like in and out, and calming the mind so that you can sink into theta and there be connected with source. And then you ask. And when you ask, guess what? You get the impression. And Mm -hmm. when you follow that impression, Mm -hmm. then you're now on the right path. And that, to me, is what showing up is all about. It's not, hey, I'm here and let's have a few beers. And the first type of guidance you get, you say, surely it can't be that. Then you say, don't call me surely, because you get these impressions like you should be doing this. And the first thing the mind wants to do is edit the crap out of it, saying, "You that can't be yeah. true, it, or financially is not feasible, or it doesn't make any sense. That's right. So you got to learn how to trust, which is, you know, the whole aspect that you've heard over and over on the spiritual path is learning how to surrender. So what to are you surrendering? Insane. You're surrendering your rational mind as it knowing everything that you need to know and that it's going to tell you things that are worth doing. Well, it may or may not. But your moral inner compass, that part of your guidance system, your connection to source, knows what's perfectly right for you because it's connected to your divinity, to your divine gifts. And when you follow that and trust it, then your life is full of ease and grace because you're now on the return path to the light. You're Mm -hmm. now allowing yourself to be guided. But it does take surrender. So many of us are so nervous about that, Tyson. So many people are so programmed that they're so scared they're going to step out of alignment, lose their way, lose their focus. It's not easy for people to let go of that type of control because most of us are taught to desire guaranteed outcomes. So we live our lives like one person I heard many years ago say, riding the break through life, riding the break, afraid to totally let go and be in complete trust and realize that that inner knower, the inner Christ, the inner Buddha, really does know what is the score and what is the best way. Absolutely. And that's a great question. You know, we do have a team and we do use the technique of masterminding to help people bust through. So, you know, if you're stuck and you're not getting anywhere and you can't get the mind chatter to quiet and down, then we just ask you to come on and there's a group of us that have been working together for a long period of time, and we know how to use different tools like Theta or Access Consciousness to help you break loose. And that's what I mean is when we help you do that, you can learn how to show up and feel what it is because, like you say, those barriers that you've learned all the way from personal to global about how you need to fit in if you do this or you do that, and if you don't, there's consequences You have to get over that fear. This is not fitting in. This is for the first time in your life not fitting in. This is the first time in your life of showing up and you being authentic in following your guidance. That is not, it's contrary to what you're taught in our society, which is. And that's what I was just going to say. You know, we are taught in society that. you know, this is the way things have to be done. This mm-hmm. is the way you do it. This is how you plan it. This is the flow. Yeah. This is blah, Very blah, blah, brain. right? Very left brain. And so being aware enough to let that go. But then again, you know, it takes practice. I mean, people yeah. are going to walk away after doing a weekend or after having a session. I know that they do that with me in my private practice. And then two weeks later, they come back and they go, I wasn't able to do it. And I said, well, did you follow the steps or did you try this? And, you know, how will all of that work? And sometimes yeah. as soon as they walk out that door, you know, that roadblock, as you put it, comes right back up again. And, and they I, I allow certain, the monkey mind to come back in and play its role. I think a certain measure of follow-up is needed. Like I notice a lot of people go to Vipassana, silent meditation, or they go to a weekend workshop. But 10, 15 days after that, I think a lot of people, when they have some kind of intensive spiritual training or how-tos or the tools – that there should be some kind of follow-up. And I noticed that, Tyson, you've been doing this work a long time, and I want Deirdre to give our listeners your contact information. But, you know, how do you feel about follow-up? You have a thing here called whole body enlightenment. You know, do people come back to you for follow-up so that they can keep grooming and cultivating their spiritual awareness? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, because you're absolutely right. You know, 
when you go and do Vipassana meditation for 14 days and you experience the silence or what it means to be silent and to meditate in silence and you find that stillness inside of you, you know, sometimes you come home, it may be a month, it may be two months, it may be three months, where you can instantaneously go back to that state of being one, you know, right. in the flow. And then right. you lose it. You're back into the day-to-day. My job is to help you bust loose from that. You know, that's why I'm a mentor and a coach. You phone me and I remind you who you are and I give you some techniques to help you do that. And there's all sorts of ways that you can participate. So, for example, once a week, I have a teleclinic. You can come on to that. I think it's cost you all of $9 a month to come on. And when you're on the teleclinic call, we do the go-around, and we say, well, what was your week like? What's coming up for you? And we help each other break free to get back in the flow. And in that hour, you learn different techniques to apply for the next week. I was just going to say, are you listening to other people's stories then, too, to help you along that? Or is this a private one-on-one? Is it a group setting? No, no, setting? It's, a group. it's a group process. This is a, the telekey clinic is a phone in like this, but it's on Skype so everybody can see each other. And we help each other move through whatever comes up. So I teach people different skills to be in their divinity during that call. That's well, what that's what? all about. This is a great time for me to say that you've got a couple of websites out there. One is the wellnessshow.ca. The other is mydivinegifts.com. And if they Google you, you come up everywhere. I know because before we got your bio, I had Googled you. So you can Google Tyson and it's T-Y-H-S-O-N. B A N I G H E N, and you can find him on the web. You can also reach him. Can I give them your phone number, Tyson? Yeah, I'll give you the toll free North American phone number. It's 1 866 369 7464 or 1 866 Dowsing. Ah, yes, that's something we haven't talked about on this show. Boy, oh boy, you're a man with many, many that, talents. That is another show, to be It sure. is another show, to be certain. So I was just going to ask you, when you're working with your people and working with your team, empowering people's lives, you're empowering yourself And what do you find is the most popular or the most asked for tool? It depends on the client. I I always run through the toolbox with them and Ah, I say, well, we can get at it this way or that way or whatever. And I let them choose the tool. So, for example. So, so in other words, you have many talents from sound healing to shamanism to dowsing to direct intuitive assessments and so forth. Yes. Okay. What was the example so, you were yeah, going to give, Tyson? I think one of the favorite ones for somebody that's stuck in their head is the sound one. The sound is extremely powerful because they end up with a 32-minute sound file that they listen to once a day. And their intention of where they want to be, you know, the highest state of their consciousness after the guided meditation, is embodied in the sound file and is also then goes into the scalar water using Dr. Emoto's technique. So now they're drinking five to six glasses of structured water. And Mm -hmm. so that intention goes down to the cellular level and it flushes the cells of the toxics. It puts that intention in at the DNA level. So now you have what it is that you want coming from the inside out through the water and from the sound from the outside in. So I love that one because it bypasses the rational mind, and a lot of people do choose that one. So that's one of the tools. Every once in a while, Deirdre, we have a show, and I know you're nodding your head, where we have a guest on that we only scratch the surface of what it is they have to offer. And then after the show, Deirdre and I start talking about, well, what can we have him back? What part of that would you like to have him back and expand on this part (laughs) or that part, you know? Because, Tyson, you really do have a multifaceted but very in-depth understanding of the metaphysics and spirituality of what we call the whole human being. So, you know, our listeners are wise to go to your websites, 
to connect with you. I always like to add that people, as Tyson here, work remotely. That You don't have to go to Salmon Arm, British Columbia to be able to work with Tyson. Am I correct? Absolutely. I have clients from all over the world. However, saying that, I'd love to have people come here, like you, Richard, Mm -hmm. And, you know, get an experience in the dodecahedron sound chamber, which is very, very powerful. Which I did. healed by the nature. Yeah, which you did. And be healed by the nature of this place to enjoy the medicine wheel, the landscape, the divas, the energy of the place. So we've really created a bit of a light station here where just by coming and being in the vibrational frequency that we've created here just helps you heal And it's like a wordless sutra. You just get it, full body experience. So Mm -hmm. that's another way of doing it is, yes, you can do it at a distance, but, hey, it's lots of fun to come and play with us. And I am Uh, scheduled to uh, come back to your neck of the woods and do some programs in the not-too-distant future. We're working on that right now. We are. We are working on being there in October. Or, I mean, uh, yeah. So we're oh, very soon. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> we definitely are. With that being said, I would just like to read something that I pulled this morning before the show in my cards. And, you know, it's so funny because I believe that it happens to go with the show. Believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There mm-hmm. is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible and remain yeah. in open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. And with that, I want to thank Tyson for being on our show. Yeah, the way I like to put it is inner focus, outer flexibility. You can be like a beautiful willow tree, strong and stout, but your leaves are flexible when the winds of change come. When the winds are gone, the leaves are right back there, stable and content. Inner focus, outer flexibility. And please just show up. And please just show up. Well, thank you, Tyson. And this show will have it on our website as soon as it's done. So, Tyson, you're welcome to tune in, download, in whatever way you wish. And thank you so much for being on our show today. Well, before you leave us, Tyson, I have one more question. Oh. I know you said just show up. But if you had one thing to tell our listeners to help them empower Ah. their lives – what would it be? You're, you've got the microphone right now. You've got lots of people listening now or downloading. What would you tell them? Well, I would suggest the three breath technique. It's really so simple. The next time you're stressed and can't remember who you are, or you're just over the top and you can't even remember your name, or you're going slightly crazy with what's happening with the kids or whatever, just take yourself out of the fray and calm yourself down and take a deep breath. And why don't we do that right now? Take a deep breath and then just sigh on the exhale. And as you sigh on the exhale, just let go of all the stress, everything, everything that's in your system. Just let it all go and sigh on the exhale so everybody can hear. So I'll just do it right now. Ah. You make lots of noise. We don't care. And do another Ah. one. Right, and one more. Ah, this doesn't ah. hear, hear to giggle at all. There you are. <laughs> He's giggling. And I love I giggling. Guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee that you're going to giggle or you're going to let go of wherever you were in your head and the mind chatter. And if you actually record before you do that on a scale of 0 to 10 how stressed you are, When you do the three breaths, you will find when you tune in that you'll be way down the scale, much closer to zero. So that's the three breath technique. There's no rocket science to it. It's just allowing yourself to breathe in the prana, the breath, the inspire, the breath of God, the mana, the divinity of who you are. And remember, just let go and be in that flow. Simple, but it works. Oh, thank you so much. That was amazing. 
It really yeah. was. It really, it is using the power of the will. And one point that Tyson said that I want to amplify, it's so easy. And that's why we miss it. Because we as human beings live in a rapid fire society where we feel things must be sophisticated. They have to be a multi-part manual. Everything has become too many syllables and too over-sophisticated or too complicated. And really, Yogananda, Paramahansa Yogananda said it best when he said, one cannot be any closer to God than they are right now. You simply reveal that closeness that you already possess. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Tyson, we so loved having you on the show, and we will look at having you back in the new year and pick up from where we've left off. I think that that would be fabulous. Can I end with a quote? Sure can. Sure. Well, Baba Ram Dass says you don't need to go anywhere or do anything because you're already there. Yeah. So you are. Which is very much like what Richard said. It is really so simple. That it's almost as close as the end of us, our nose, but really it isn't the end of the, our nose, it's inside right. of us. Right, yeah. there's nothing to find because nothing's lost. No. That's right. And there's nowhere so to go we because can, we're already there. We can reach you at thewellnessshow.ca and at mydivinegifts.com. You can also reach him and um, at www.tysonbanigan.ca. That's oh, right. Okay. So he's all over the place. He's a mover and a shaker. So thank you again, Tyson. Big hug to your wife, Sarah. And we will talk to you again soon. All right. I love being on the show. Thank you ever so much for inviting me. All right, Tyson. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Many blessings. For quality online wellness products, courses, and services, visit our sponsors, thewellnessstore.ca and the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy located at thewellnessacademy.ca. To stay in touch, visit us at thewellnessshow.ca. And until next time, be healthy, wealthy, and wise.